So let's explore a dependent T and how it would look as a one sample T. And in this data set, I kind of gave you more than you would probably normally have. I first um, want to, I'm oh, sorry, wrong button. I first want to switch the data to be numbers so that I can calculate the appropriate analysis. So if you have a file come over as a CSV, you just want to make sure that the numbers are represented as numbers. Now, typically, if we're doing a dependent T, oh, I see a typo, I apologize. Uh, if we do a dependent T, we typically just have the before and after. We don't normally have the difference, but I, I added this here because I wanted to show you something so that you can see a theoretical point. So let's just first run the dependent T. So I'm going to go up to t-test. I'm going to do paired sample T. Now I'm going to put the before, sorry, I'm going to put the after variable first and then the before. And the reason I do that is because I want my math to say after minus before. So that if I get a positive value here, I know their scores went up. If they get a negative value here, I know their scores went down. So I can see these IQ scores went up after the intervention. So um, I'll put my descriptives. I'm going to leave it two-tailed. So I'm just going to say, okay, so now what we see here is our t-value is 4.030, and we can see that's significant. So what JASP did for us was actually calculate the different scores and um, do this for us. We didn't need to have this column in here because it did that math for us, and then it um, kind of calculated it I wanted to show you if we were to do it manually, we should get the same thing. So if I click on t-test and do a one sample t, and it's asking me what is the one sample I'm interested in, I should just have this difference. I, this is what I used for the uh, paired sample t, but on a one sample, I'm just using the difference score. And then I do have to make sure I specified here, I'm hypothesizing that the difference will be zero. So I leave this as zero. And if I um, also click, and click on descriptives, now if I click OK, you can see that the one sample T um, is exactly the same as the dependent T. You see 4.030 degrees of freedom of 8, probability 0 0.004. 4.030 degrees of freedom of 8, probability 0 0.004. And so what we are seeing here is that we are looking at the um, one sample T version. Now, up here, when they did the paired sample T, what JASP did was actually calculate the different score and run the one sample T for us. Now, this descriptive is on the after scores and the before scores, whereas the descriptives on the one sample T are on the different scores. Oops. I did something. Sorry, I clicked on something and my screen flipped out. Um, so I, what I wanted to show you, and I think it's a great test question, is that a dependent T is a one sample T where it is run on the different scores. So when JASP runs the dependent paired T for you, it is actually calculating the different scores and doing all the math for you. If we had gone one step further and calculated the differences, we could run the one sample T and get the same thing. But if I collect data with before and after, what, let's just let JASP do all the math for us. We don't actually have to do this additional column. I just wanted you to theoretically see that a dependent T and a one sample T are essentially the same thing.